this movie, you will see my map where the border is located, how the border is defined, and how it impacts me. Finally, you will read a reflection of what I learned. This is my map. It has a title, grid, compass rose, scale, and a key. Geographers define the location of the Morocco and Spain border in a variety of ways. To begin with, geographers describe the location as between the Strait of Gibraltar and the Mediterranean Sea. Yet another way geographers describe the location is that Spain and Morocco are separated by water borders. Last but not least, geographers describe the location of the border as being on the coast of Morocco. several ways to define the Morocco and Spain border. For instance, the border is a human boundary because it has a wall. Also, the border has changed over time because in the 1900s, Spain took over control of parts of Morocco with its army, and Morocco took over Melilla, a small piece of land. Finally, Morocco disagrees with the border because Spain wanted Melilla on their side, and Melilla was between Morocco. The Morocco and Spain border impacts people in multiple of ways. For instance, the Spanish built several large borders and fences, and they dug ditches to try to keep people out of Melia. Yet another way of how the border impacts people is that thousands of migrants or people are leaving their homes trying to cross Melia. The final way is that migrants from all over the world try to cross into Melia. I choose this border because it has really interesting stuff to read. I believe this border is unfair because Spain took part of Morocco. Something that I learned about this border in this unit is that families and friends are separate from the border. Something that I learned about geography is to discuss how the Morocco and Spain border can impact me.